Well, hello everybody and welcome back to Lisa's Coloring Corner. I would like to do a flip through of Belba Family's latest and greatest book. I could not wait for their next one, as you know. <laughs> this one was so kindly sent to me by Belba Family. This is another Mystery Mosaics books, which I absolutely love. This one is Cinema, and it is Guess the Movie. So this whole book is um, pictures of movies. So as you can see, I did a few, and I wanted to try one of my different sets of fine liners for each picture. So let's take a look at the book. Like all of their other uh, mystery mosaic books, tells you kind of a little bit about, you know, using the alternative method by putting the X's through. This is their eighth book from the mystery mosaics series. Hope they put out more. Talks about other books in this series. And then we have a nameplate page. We do have a palette page, which as in all the other books, shows a little scissors down here and a cut line. It is not perforated, but at le least it gives you a line to cut straight on. <laughs> so if you're like me and you like figuring out your colors ahead of time for your particular color medium, you could try out the color here and maybe write down uh, what the color is, what number and name. So here it says, guess the movie. Here you find the quotes from the movies. Read them and then color the picture. If it is still difficult to guess the name of the movie, you can find the answers on the back page. So we're not going to look at those, right? <laughs> here is the first one. Jeez, I wonder what that is, huh? The phrase from the movie... I'll think of it tomorrow at Tara. I can stand it then. Tomorrow, I'll think of some way to get him back. After all, tomorrow is another day. So I knew before I even colored this, especially with the word Tara in it, this is gone with the wind. Now, for some of you young'uns, you may not know this picture, but uh, yeah, very, very famous movie. I love how that turned out. The next one we have, I wasn't sure exactly when I started this one what it was going to be, and this did not help me. It says, how? How can I do what is needed when all I feel is hate? You hide it with this. And I am assuming this is Zorro. Kind of looks like a, a Z up here anyhow. Oh, this first one I did with the uh, my favorite, the Ink Onics by Arteza. This one I did with my Shuttle Art fine liners, which also worked out great. The next one, this one I wasn't sure about either. It says there are no packs between lions and men. Takes off helmet. <laughs> now you know who you're fighting. So... Yeah, I wasn't sure about this one. I love how it turned out. I think I, when after I finished this, I did go look what the name of this one was, and I kind of hid everything till I, you know, I got down to this particular page, so I didn't see the other answers. Um, and now I can't remember what it was. Mmm, because it was a while ago when I did this one. This one was done with the Ohuhu. Uh, fine liners, the dual tip, and uh, I did reviews of all these fine liners, so you can look in my reviews um, playlist or swatching. Is it swatching? Uh, could be swatching of supplies playlist if you want to see a review of these products. If you can't find the um, particular video or you want links or anything like that just let me know in the comments below and I'd be more than happy to help you out this one oh I knew right away what this one was going to be my favorite movie it says you have a strong heart no fear but stupid ignorant like a child 
I remember that phrase. And as soon as I started doing the blues and stuff, well, yeah. <laughs> Knew right away this was Avatar. Love that movie. And I did this one with the Cool Bank fine liners. Again, just recently did a review of those fine liners. And then finally... I had this one, Be the Flame, Not the Moth. And again, I can't remember what the name of the movie was. I'm sure you guys know. Uh, this one was done with my Twi markers. Love, again, how that turned out. And as you all know, my favorites are the two Artezas, uh, the Twi markers and the Ink Onyx. Love them both. They're both so juicy. Ink Onyx, I guess, is my number one. And then are the Twi markers. But isn't that pretty? Love the colors in there. And again, with these really small squares, look at the detail you can get in these pictures. Oh, so awesome. So it doesn't pay for me to flip through the rest of the book because you can't see anything anyhow. Um, you know, but again, nice, fun, fun book. And we're not going to look at the answers in the back. So we'll just flip to the back cover here as on all their other books is the 22 color color palette which is the same throughout all of their books which I love. Then we have some samplings of some of the pictures from inside. So here you can see the avatar one that I did and uh, actually I'm working on this one right now. No, it's a different Titanic one I think. Hmm, okay, but Obviously, that one's Titanic. Oh, no, I'm working on a Titanic one in a in one of my mosaics where I take the silver lines and color it in first. Yeah, working on a Titanic there because I was wondering, why would they have two Titanics in this book? So, already getting my books mixed up. So, again, that is the latest book from Belba Family. Thank you again, Belba Family. Love, love, love your books. Um, I will leave a link down below to this book from Amazon in case you're interested in purchasing it for yourself. I hope you enjoyed seeing Belba Family's latest book. And if you did, please hit that thumbs up button. Subscribe if you're new to my channel. I hope everybody's having a terrific weekend. And as always, happy coloring. Bye, guys.